Theo Vaughn up in the house. Gucci gang, son. Gucci gang. Even text Gucci gang. Good to be out here, dude. It's, it's been, good to be here, man. This is the gayest little microphone. It feels like a. <laughs> it's all up in your grill. Oh, it feels like a like a like a the weakest one arm black kid is trying to give me a hug. <laughs> That's what it feels like, dude. Like if you go like this, go black skill. So like, whoa! Somebody dude. feed this boy and then bring him back to the hug ring, you know? Because he ain't ready for fucking real two arm. This dude ain't ready. Hug him with one arm. Unfortunately, almost knocked this young lady up. That was from South Dakota. And she yeah. lived on a reservation, yeah. Oh. And she, like, threatened to have the baby. Oh, um, damn. How old were you? 37. Wow. This year. <laughs> it was this year. And she wouldn't even be cool. She wouldn't. She threatened to have the baby, dude. And I just <laughs> met her at a motel. Yeah. <laughs> This guy want to make fun of my haircut. We going to see. That's not, a That's not a haircut. That's all you got left, bro. Oh. Woo! That Yo, shit can... is slick. CBS no, wants to know. No, no thoughts. Chris, you look like a deaf guy that goes to the gym. You look like, dude. 100%. Dude, we had this kid in, our, in my neighborhood named Robert, and he was like, he thought he was twins that never got separated, right? And so, <laughs> okay. yeah, when he would talk, he would say something, and then uh, under his breath, he would say it again, say it. <laughs> you like that? Oh, it never ended. Never yeah, ended. and it oh, fucking really? scared the fuck out of everybody, bro. And he could not stop doing it. He, he kept doing it, <laughs> like an echo. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> and you'd ask him why he did, it, and he said he was tw there was twins inside of him, and one of them never got out. That's so like, funny. You grew up in the south. Yeah, man, I'm from the south. Anybody else from the south? <laughs> Heck yeah. Second place in the Civil War. <laughs> Runner up. Isaac Newton had this theory of gravity and motion, but I, uh, Einstein's the guy who figured out that time and space is a fabric. Oh, wow. And that gravity bends it. Like, he just was, this guy was so brilliant. He sat in his office, and he was having a thought experiment. And he imagined the more mass you had, the more you bended this fabric of space and wow. time. Wow. It's fucking crazy. That's crazy. Imagine then going and telling somebody. Imagine telling yeah, your neighbor right. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The neighbor like, would be like, bro. Little dog. Where's Larry? I like him better. <laughs> yeah. I just saw a guy outside of the DSW shoes, and he uh, he's fucking talking about bending space and time, bro. Yeah. Dude, he's the best, man. I, uh, That's crazy. Imagine what he fucked. You think he fucked, like, awesomely, or you think no, he was, like. he fucked nasty at once. Really? Nasty really? science ladies. <laughs> not that they're not attractive science girls. No, but I mean, oh. you think he was like, you know, like a basic kind of sexual guy. You think he was like doing wild stuff. He was doing or... equations. He was like, let me, yeah, why don't we just drop me from 100 feet in his <laughs> vagina? You know, if you want to do that. I wish I knew. <laughs> what, what was that like? Oh, my dad was old, man. My dad was uh, 70 years old when, uh, when I was born. Wow. Um, <laughs> is that right? Thank you for laughing at my daddy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's right, he really was. Uh, which, my mom was 32, which basically makes me a product of, uh, of loose skin and loose morals. Uh, <laughs> here. Yeah. Uh, but it was cool, though. Like, the quality time we would spend, like, after, uh, after I was born, uh, my dad had a stroke, uh, so we were both learning to walk at the same time. <laughs> we'd, have, like, we'd have, like, little races for cookies, you know? And, uh, <laughs> And uh, we <laughs> we play games like catch or don't. <laughs> and, uh, and my favorite is Dad sleeping, or is he no longer with us? <laughs> I remember I got on a school bus one day, and the man didn't even take us to school. He just drove us around, <laughs> and uh, fuck off. Swear to God, and then just drove us back home eventually. What's wrong with him? He didn't say anything He's either. Probably drunk. So what kind of girls do you like? Oh man, I like all kinds of girls, really big, small, sleeping, uh, <laughs> who hasn't. Uh, dated a lazy-eyed girl for a little bit. Uh, don't laugh, man, she's a hell of a skeet shooter. <laughs> That's my favorite joke, man. I used to get mad and get up in her face and go, pull, and just watch her eye go out like that. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. But, uh... I don't know, man. I like to date a homeless lady, man, because after the date, you could just drop her off anywhere. 
But I like I like a, I like a strong girl, you know. I like a a sturdy gal, man. Uh, you know, kind of girl who you know get into some things, you know. What I mean, these skinny girls, man, like making love to a can of pickup sticks, you know. <laughs> I'm serious, man. It's like making love to a pillowcase full of deer antlers. I need a freaking sturdy man. I need a girl that's got a little harumph, you know. <laughs> I need a girl that's got some her in her, you know, maybe a little diesel in the tank. The kind of girl that'll just snatch a goat off a bridge if she has to. <laughs> you know, the kind of girl that gets into some things. You know what I'm saying? Cause these, these skinny girls just don't do it for me, man. Uh, I got a girl for you. You do? Yeah, she's got a speech impediment. She does this a lot. <laughs> if, she, if she can cook, I will take her. Man. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm serious, Michael. A lot of women don't cook anymore, man. And here's my thought. It's true, gentlemen. Look at us. Hungry clap. You hear that hunger clap? <laughs> you hear that hunger clap? And here's my thoughts, ladies. If God didn't want you to cook, then why did he naturally put milk and eggs in your body? <laughs> Uh, black people don't really know, they don't differentiate between indoors and outdoors. <laughs> what do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors, dude. What do you mean? Outdoors can be indoors. Black person, you can put them outdoors and you put them indoors. Same volume levels, <laughs> same speed. There's no inside voice. There's no, there's zero inside there's voice. There's no etiquette when you go indoors. Well, they just don't, I don't, I don't think they believe in like a lot of structures and I don't know if I don't want to say woodwork, but I want to say overall that they the difference between indoors and outdoors when it comes to it's most so black incredibly people, it's so incredibly vaguely racist. It's so like, funny though. Do you think there's more porn stars or murders in the world? Mm, I think murders. You know, I actually know a guy. I shouldn't say this on here, but I'm not going to say names. But I know a guy who killed someone, and he said, and this isn't me saying this, dude. I wouldn't do something like this, but he said that it fucking feels good. And he did say that. Dude, Koreans are full of dreams, man. <laughs> they are. We saw this Asian guy, could have been Korean. He was fell off a building. When he hit the bottom, whoo, dreams came out of him, bro. By dreams, do you mean guts and blood? No, I just mean you could just feel the fucking fragments of ideas <laughs> and hope and imagination fly out of his body. Hey. I want to thank everybody from F Fighter and the Kid. You know, I was, uh, and that's a, a podcast where they have this man who is a fighter. And he got, he got beat up and he got attacked a couple times and he couldn't fight anymore because his brain couldn't handle it. He was on the brisk of freaking getting that, you know, a brush with that tism. And so his brain, you know, told him, we got to shut it down. And so he quit fighting and he met up with this other man who's kind of aging, but he's, this, you know, a sweet, funny guy and he got strong legs, the other guy. And their names are Brendan and Brian and the podcast is called The Fighter and the Kid. And one of them uses moisturizer. And one of them needs moisturizer. Skin. I have yeah, terrible, I have, ter I have bad skin. skin.